Hi everyone, welcome to Coffee and Card at Home. So today we have started a new week using a new stamp set and a new um, punch. And we have used Easter friends. Um, I thought as it's April and we've obviously got Easter in this month, it'd be nice to get a few Easter cards made. But likewise, if you don't want to make Easter cards, then you could change the sentiments and they'd make nice cards for children. Um, or anybody that loves animals really and then the punch that I have coordinated it with is the so lovely um, label punch um, which I thought was nice to use for putting some of the smaller images or to create apertures with so first of all we are going to have a quick look at the card that we're making so you know what we're aiming for and that's what we've made today so we've got the little chick in the middle and then a couple of sentiments top and bottom so first of all, we're going to need to take a C6 card base, which um, measures, um, sorry, measures 14.8 um, and then scored at 10 and a half centimetres. So it's in half of an A4 sheet of card, basically. Um, and that gives us our card base, which we're just going to pop that to the side. For now and then I've got a small rectangle of card um, just to fit my chick onto um, so it doesn't need to be ever so big obviously the chick is quite a small image and then we're going to punch it out with the punch anyway so I'm just using memento black because we're going to color in with the stamping blends. And I'm using Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. So I'm just gonna get the lighter shade on first of all. And the nice thing about these images as well is that the shading has kind of been put on for you with like the cross hatching design on the image so um, it does help a little bit when you're colouring in to help you figure out which bits to do a little bit darker and do actually put a little bit more the lights a little bit too light I think even a little bit darker with the darker pen and then I'll go back in and add another layer of colour just to make some of these shaded areas a bit darker and a slightly darker wing as well and then I've just used the dark pumpkin pie just to colour in the beak and the feet. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our punch and we are going to punch the chick out. Now if you need a post-it note just to help you to hold on to uh, the image whilst you punch it out then just pop that on there. And then that just helps to hold it in place for you. So we'll keep that post-it note for later because I have another job for it later on on my next card. So then I have got some strips of card which I have cut which the width is about three centimeters and I'm going to stamp the happy Easter and then the sentiment that says um, about spring so again just with memento black Just 
try and use your grid lines to just help you to line that up. And then this one is sending warm and happy wishes this spring. I'm just going to stamp that a bit further down so that I've got enough space to cut them out. And then if you're worried about cutting a straight line, obviously, please use your trimmer. But if not, you can just use your scissors to just cut these. And you might actually want to um, flag the ends as well if you wanted to, just to change it up a little bit. So I'm just going to put all those to one side for a minute because I'm going to bring back our card base. I'm going to attach our piece of ribbon right down the centre. Now on my original one, I did use um, the lovely checked ribbon that we have. But unfortunately, I've run out of that. So what I'm going to use is I'm actually going to use a different one, which this is also just jade to match my um, card base. But it has a little bit of gold in it, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to pop that down the centre of my card. So I'm just going to cut myself enough overlap the edge I'm also just going to trim this edge so it's diagonal to stop it from fraying and then I'm just going to take a couple of glue dots or we could use some of our tear and tape double sided tape just to secure the um, ribbon down so I'm just putting a couple of glue dots on the back of the ribbon. And then just use your grid lines to help you line the card up and then try and get that in the centre if you can. So one has caught onto the front of the card and then the other one onto the back. I'm going to do the same here. So you need to pull it sort of taut, but you don't want to pull it too tight. And then just pop that bit behind the card. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to now stick our sentiments on and our chick in the middle and then put a bow on here as well so I'm going to attach those with dimensionals so just bear in mind how many you're putting on because you want it to um, want to make sure it doesn't sag in the middle so I've used six on this one And I'm putting this one so that I'm lining it up centrally and going fairly close to the bottom of the card. Next I'll pop my chick on.
and I'm going to put the chick fairly low down because I want to leave a bit of space to put on my bow. And then last thing, my sentiment just to go at the top. And I'm just going to use a few of my scraps. So I like to use every bit of my dimensionals that I can. So I'm just going to stick a bit there. And a bit there. There we go. So just take the backs off of those. final thing to do is just to tie a ribbon sorry tie a bow with the ribbon and then that can be attached just above the chick I'm leaving the ends fairly long. This ribbon does have a tendency to uh, fray, but actually I think it kind of looks quite nice. And it's just going to sit just there. There we go, so that's finished. I'll just bring back one of my others so you can just see the difference with the different ribbons. Oh, one thing I actually have forgotten is just do a little bit of grass underneath my chick's feet. There we go. So that is finished. So just a quick recap of what we have used. So we've used the Easter Friends stamp set and the So Lovely Label Punch. Um, we have used Memento Black to stamp our images and then coloured in with Stampin' Blends in Daffodil, Delight and Pumpkin Pie and Old Olive. And then for our card base, we've used um, Just Jade and then Basic White for the other details, obviously. And then for the ribbon on this one, we just used the Checked Ribbon. And for this one, we've used the Just Jade and Gold Ribbon. Um, obviously, if you need any help with any of that, please do get in touch. If there's anything you'd like to order, then please get in touch as well. And I can place an order for you with any of those things. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy having a go at making that. And you can make it as an Easter card or, like I say, convert it into a child's birthday card or something like that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I will see you again next time for the second week of um, coffee and cards using the Easter friends. See you then. Bye.